Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to uh, unbox and start building the Tamiya TTO2. I bought it as a kit, uh, it comes as a kit. I've got the Ford Escort Cosworth. Um, I'm going to be doing a full rally car with this, so rally decals and bits and pieces like that. There's a few of us down at our local uh, club that have gone out and got the rally cars. We've got like the Mitsubishi, we've got the Subaru, we've got the Lancia, we've got the Audi. Um, and we're going to get a few of us together and we're going to have some fun. Um, I went for this one because the Ford's my favourite. Um, we're going to get it out of the box, see what it comes with, and then we're going to start the build. So... Upon opening the box, looks like we've got ourselves the rear wing and uh, what are they? The wing mirrors. There's the body shell. Oh, there's the Escort Cosworth body shell. Wheel arch is already cut out, which is going to make life a hell of a lot easier. Uh, what we got? We got a Carson ESC here, which is the replacement that Tamari are using at the moment. Uh, I believe it can take two or three S lipo, so that'd be good. Nice long run times. Uh, wheels, which look like a little bit of a road tire there. We're gonna have to swap them out for some rally blocks. Tires, sorry. These are the wheels. Nice little set of wheels there. Got the tub chassis. What we got here? Our diff covers wheel hubs with brake discs and bits and pieces got some knuckles what else have we got here more bits and pieces of suspension arms body posts more suspension arms they look like the shock towers what's this oh we've got hardware the torque tune motor springs bushes which we're not going to be using the bushes we've actually got a little a little upgrade there, full ball raced. What else have we got in here? Uh, drive cups, center prop shaft, little dog bones, uh, receiver box, motor mount, battery holding a thingy, whatever you want to call it. Got instructions. What have we got here? Oh, body masks, Got some decals. We'll be using some of them, but not all of them. What else we got in there? Oh, front bumper, uh, foam front bumper bit. Antenna tube. Right, let's get all this spread out and sorted out, and then we'll uh, we'll start building. Right, we're back. After being on the phone for about ten minutes, talking to uh, Pete down at Active Scale Models, uh, he's been talking me through it a little bit. I've never built a kit like this before, um, so. I've got a few little hop up bits uh, and then obviously when you get some bits in the kit with Tamiya you've got that two prop shafts and bits and you've got to set the car up for short, high, wide, whatever your body will take. I didn't know this, um, all the guys have been ripping me on the on the group chat, um, truly deserved. <laughs> but let's try and crack on with this um, and get going. Maybe we'll do this over a few videos. So I've got myself some hop ups, I've got the high speed gear set. I got the aluminium prop, aluminium pro, pro, aluminium propeller joints. I've got the yeah racing screw set, so the hexes, not the you know, little Phillips. Um, I just find these a bit nicer, you know, it's easier not to round them off. So we've got these few bits to add in as we go. Um, so let's crack on with number one. I suggest, I suggest, I suppose, um, and see how we get on. So we've got to set up the old high speed gear set. Uh, that's all Phillips. I don't think there's any really change for that. So that's that. So we need C5. We need a bearing, which this is going to be fun because uh, <laughs> nothing's labelled up for me. Obviously, I've got the original hardware, but we're going to be using. Not we're not going to be using the bushes. We're going to be using the. The new set of bearings. I'm hoping that it's gonna be. If we separate them all, is it that one? All right, there we go. So 
What's it say? It's saying we need some grease. So that goes on there. That scoots over the top like that. Here we go. And it's obviously going to be the last bag that I was going to open, wasn't it? So let's pull that out there. A little spur gear, lamp key, screw set. Yeah, let's go, baby. Let's open that up. Oh, the grease is pouring out already. Pressurized. And it all started exploding out. All right, put a bit of grease around that. Where's that bearing gone? I've lost the bearing already. Been there two seconds. Oh, let's get this already on the other one. Slide that on. There we go. What else is there? Now it needs GB3. Let's put a bit more grease on there like it tells me to. There we go. Use my fingers. Happy days. Let's do the right thing. Let's redlock everything so it doesn't come off. And I won't cry about it in the future. There we go. Bit of redlock on it. Lovely. Right. Do the other three. Dippy dippy redlock. Right, that's all thread locked up. Let's remove this because this is the bit that I made the mistake on. Take that off. You don't need this plastic one. What you need is this aluminium piece. Then you put the little piece like that in. Um, that, like that, that. You put that. Um, what way did it go? Here we go. Look at these instructions, not that instructions. That way, that way. With the screws that way, obviously. That end like that. And then it needs another bearing, which is this one, I believe. Yep. A bit of grease. Be rude not to. Straight over like that. Right, and that there is, oh, and then we need the plastic pinion gear. And it just snaps on like that, and I just felt that click. There we go, there's the high speed gear in set up with the aluminium, I don't know what it is, aluminium, however what they want to call it. Aluminium propeller joint. So that's what that one is. Uh, right, so we've done that one. Now we need to do the other one. A little bit of grease. Slide it on. Slide that on like that. Then you need the other one, which stays up, oh, stays up this end. Then you have the other plastic pinion gear, which you just snap on, like that. There we go, look at that. We are getting there. Right, now it looks fit, now we need the top chassis. Let's get the chassis out. that lovely right chassis down that 
one goes in there like that. This one goes at the front. And there we go. We're getting there. Uh, I've also got the propeller shaft here. So let's put that in while we're here. in that bit in wow look at that that's lovely all right let's get you out of the mount and just have a little look so there we go this is where we're at so far we're sitting with the aluminium joints all ball raced the tamiya upgraded shaft and then we got the higher speed gear set there sitting in the tub chassis which is pretty much the first page done um i've missed this little part out here because someone said to me that if you put that in it restricts it restricts the servo uh, the steering arm sorry so you don't get as much throw on the steering and i'm going to confirm that in a minute when i get off the uh, the phone and uh, we'll find out, and if it needs to go in, we'll put it in.